it's very easy to flip the axis arrangement of 2 and 3D spectra in analysis version 3. All you need to do is type XY, XZ or YZ to flip the axes in question. You can also go to view and then current, which is basically this will act on the currently selected display, which has the highlighted axes, and then go to copy with X, Y axes flipped, X, Z or Y, Z. So here I've got a triple resonance spectrum. It's got protons along the X axis, carbon along the Y axis and nitrogen in Z. If I now type Y, Z, it will copy the spectrum into a new module with the new axis arrangement where nitrogen is now in Y and carbon has been placed along Z. As you can see, it is in a separate module. That's because in analysis version 3, each module is always associated with one particular type of axis arrangement. So once you've flipped your spectrum, you can then decide whether you want to close the um, old uh, module or retain it. An alternative way to change the axis ordering is to type FA for flip axes or to go to view, current and then copy with axes flipped. This will bring up a small pop-up and then you can select from this drop down menu the axis ordering that you'd like to have. Click OK and your new module will be generated. This is particularly useful if you're dealing with 4D spectra or even higher dimensionality spectra. Uh, where, of course, we you will have several z-dimensions and where we can't offer shortcuts for every possible combination of uh, swapping axes. The default axis arrangement is to keep the directly detected dimension um, on the x-axis, and then if there is another dimension with the same isotope code, so usually that would mean if there are two proton dimensions, that will be placed along the y-axis, and the remaining dimension goes on to Z. Uh, for triple resonance spectra, our default is to have carbon along the uh, Y axis and nitrogen uh, along Z. If you want to change the default axis arrangement for a spectrum, simply double click on that spectrum, which brings up the spectrum properties dialog box. Go to the dimensions tab, and here you have a list of all your different dimensions and at the bottom you can select your preferred axis order. So I could now select HNC and say that is what I want to have as my default uh, when I open a new module of this spectrum. You can also go to project preferences or um, bring this up with command or control comma and here in the spectrum tab you um, have this axis ordering and you can choose either to use the spectrum settings or you can choose this option always ask. In this case every time I open a new module I'll be asked what um, arrangement would you like to open it in.